Hey guys, this is Kevin with the pit, and uh, we decided to do a little different video today. Um, kind of a DIY type, if you want. Um, not going to be cooking today. Going to be customizing my Plano case that I bought for my AR. Um, got a Savage Recon I've had for a little while. Been carrying it kind of in the box, uh, and decided that's just. Not an efficient way to carry uh, an AR. <laughs> so uh, I decided to go with one of these Plano cases. This is the 36 inch model and it just fits uh, my gun without having to take it apart, um, you know, without having to disassemble the stock and everything. So, anyway, I'm going to show you today how I'm going to uh, basically customize it for my actual gun and accessories. And I hope you enjoy. This particular case has four um, latches in the front, none on the sides. It does have extra holes there that you can use for padlocks, which I will use. And it also has a keyed lock on each side of it, um, which is really nice because, you know, you don't have to have the padlocks. You, you can use just the keys. I prefer both you know, just for an added measure of security. Somebody really wants it, they'll get into it anyway, but at least it'll slow them down some and perhaps it'll deter any small child or anything that, you know, anybody that happens to be in your house and fishing around and finds the case. Um, mine, of course, is gonna be in a gun safe, but, you know, if you have this locked in your, in your bedroom under your bed or something, you know, for quicker access, at least it would deter anybody from uh, just opening up the case and getting your gun. So, uh, this case is made in the USA, which is always a plus. And it is waterproof and dustproof, which is really cool. You can see the seal inside to make it waterproof and dustproof. It comes with a foam already. Um, this comes with pick and pluck foam, foam which is uh, kind of cool. You know, I'm going to do a little extra customization on that other than just plucking the foam. As you can see, I've already traced out my, my gun and the accessories I'm going to put in the case. I can always add a, a little bit more if I wanted to, but this is really all I carry. Um, I have a 40 round uh, clip and a 30 round and the gun itself. And I always uh, utilize ear protection uh, when, I'm, when I'm shooting. So I just kind of made me a little place for the ear protection. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, and like I said, uh, we'll, we'll take it out and get started here. So I'm actually pulling the pick and pluck foam out and I'm going to put it on the table while I cut it. Uh, this case also has a second layer of foam underneath the pick and pluck, um, which I will be uh, using a spray adhesive to bond the two together after I'm done. And the foam on top, of course, is the, um, you know, what I call egg carton foam. Um, it's not made out of egg cartons, it's just kind of shaped like the egg carton. So let's get started. And I, I'm trying to film this and do it at the same time, so I'm probably going to end up just taking some pictures here. But basically, um, you want to very carefully cut these out. Uh, this is pick and pluck, so um, where some of your edges might meet up, others won't. And cutting these little pre-cut squares um, can be a little bit hard. You just have to take your time and go slow and use a very sharp blade like I've been doing. I've already got this pretty much pre-cut and once the Plasti Dip goes on top of it, um, all the edges will look smoother than they, than they are right now. So it, it'll come out great. Um, you'll see when I'm done here, but just to give you an idea of what I'm doing, um, I'm, I am just cutting all along the, the line here. Black Plasti Dip um, and you know, it's it's actually really really nice looking i think it actually looks better than the gray but um as you can see just kind of one long swoop as i'm going across it even covers up the silver uh pencil or pen that i was using to make the markings i'm i'm making sure that i dip inside of the uh, foam as well. That'll help prevent your foam from tearing when you pull in, you know, out your weapon and, and put it back in as well. So 
you want to give that a, a coat. Um, actually, it's going to get several coats. That's why I bought four cans. Um, and you can do a little cleanup afterwards as well, but um, you know, you can touch it up and trim it out a little clean and, and cleaner if you need to and, and retouch and, and whatnot. Um, I'm rethinking uh, bonding this. I might actually do the bond after the first coat because I'm not quite sure how this Plasti Dip is going to do with this newspaper underneath. I don't want to be tearing up a bunch of newspaper off with a foam. Uh, and I'm thinking it might create a bond that I don't actually want. So uh, we'll see how that goes. So I decided to go ahead and uh, actually go ahead and bond these two pieces of foam together. I know I said I wasn't going to do that at this point, but I wanted to go ahead and do it. Um, just decided not to wait. and. Uh, just really didn't want to deal with the newspaper on the bottom of the other piece of foam being adhered to it by the Plasti Dip. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this piece of foam with Loctite. I did take it out of the case to do that because I don't want it to, you know, be bonded to the case itself. Even though this Loctite is not supposed to uh, adhere to plastic very well, I just didn't want to deal with it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and spray this down, put it back in the case, put the other piece of foam on top, and then uh, just close the case for a while. And there we go. There's the uh, Savage Recon in there with a 30 and a 40 round magazine and the hearing protection. And uh, I think it turned out really nice. It uh, should, should protect it really well. All right, so that's the completed project. It ended up being, I think, close to, I don't know, probably five or six layers of of uh, Plasti Dip that I sprayed on there, but uh, it works really well. It really bonds that foam together nicely. It's just like basically one piece of solid foam there. So anyway, guys, give it a try. Give it a thumbs up and like the video and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.